Hai, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Presentation ini akan membincangkan cadangan jawapan bagi soalan nombor 3 dan soalan nombor 4 pasca question sesi 2016-2017. Ini adalah soalan nombor tiga. Dalam soalan ini, pelajar diberi satu diagram. Okey, di mana uh, this diagram shows the reaction of one butanol F with several reagents. The question is, draw the structures of G, H and J suggest the reagents needed to prepare F from methanol Name the functional group in compound H. Give one chemical test to differentiate compound F from 2 methyl 2 butanol and state the observation and write the chemical equation. And then the last question suggest the reagents to convert F to butanol. Kita lihat cadangan jawapan bagi soalan nombor satu. Draw the structures of G, H and J. Okay, jika dilihat, okay, apakah dia struktur untuk G daripada satu kompaun bila bertindak, bela, bertindak balas dengan sodium hydroxide aqueous solution to form alcohol, this reaction is hydrolysis. of haloalkin. Pelajar kena ingat kembali beberapa reaction untuk menghasilkan alkohol. Okey, salah satu uh, method to prepare the alcohol is hydrolysis of haloalkin. So, what is the structure of G? Structure of G is a haloalkin with four carbon. Okey, this is the Structure of R for haloalkin. So, dia akan kekal sama. 4 carbon. Cuma nanti OH tu akan ditukarkan dengan halogen. Sama ada pada nak gunakan Cl. Okay, ataupun Cl ni boleh juga digantikan dengan bromin. Seterusnya, structure untuk H. Daripada primary alcohol. Okay, this is primary alcohol. Okay, when react with concentrated sulfuric acid and heated, okay, the reaction here is dehydration of alcohol. Okay, dehydration of alcohol akan menghasilkan alkin. So, the structure of alkin, the number of carbon still the same for carbon. CH3, CH2, CH2, sorry. Double bond will form here. CH, CH2. Okay, ya. ingat kembali bahawa nanti akan uh, bila OH ni uh, di remove, carbon kaion akan terbentuk di sini. Okay, kemudian hydrogen from adjacent carbon okay, will be removed. So, ini adalah struktur untuk H. Kita akan dapat 1 butin. Seterusnya, kita lihat struktur untuk J. When primary alcohol, we act with potassium dichromate followed with addition of acid. Okay, sebenarnya ini adalah oxidation reaction. Okay, potassium dichromate, okay, ini adalah oxidation agent. Strong oxidation agent. So, bila gunakan strong oxidation agent, Primary alcohol, okay, will oxidize to form carboxylic acid. So, bagaimana struktur carboxylic acid? Okay, masih lagi carboxylic acid for carbon. Number of carbon kekal sama, eh. CH2, cuma nanti dia akan jadi carboxylic acid. Okay, this carbon. Okay, become C double bond O, OH. So, this is the structure of G, H and J. Next, the second question. Suggest the reagents needed to prepare F from methanol. Okay, 
So, uh, as I said before, metana, sorry, F is a primary alcohol. Okay, to produce primary alcohol from methanol, okay, this is the structure of methanol, aldehyde 1 carbon. Okay, methanol will react with Brignard reagent. Okay, followed with hydrolysis process. Okay, to produce primary alcohol. Okay, now, uh, how to predict uh, what is the structure of Brignard reagent here? Okay, uh, we look at to the structure of primary alcohol which is F. Okay, this is the structure of F. One butanol. Okay, the structure of F, okay, is one butanol. So you must know that in this structure, okay, this part is come from methanol, asalnya daripada methanol. Okay, while this part is a R from Grignard region. R from Grignard region. So kita dah boleh predict macam mana structure Grignard reagent. The structure of Grignard reagent is Cr CH3, CH2, CH2, Mg. X ni can be bromine or Cl. Let's say I use bromine here. Okay, so to answer this question, suggest the reagents. Okay, so you must write that step 1. Grignard reagent, this Grignard reagent, mesti lukis structure Grignard reagent yang betul. In dry ether, the Grignard reagent in dry ether, add with methanol and then after that, step 2, hydrolysis process. So, to write the hydrolysis process, you can write H2O slash H plus atau Kamu boleh tulis H3O+. Okay, so this is the answer for number 2. Next is question 3. Name the functional group in compound H. Okay, recall what is compound H. Compound H is 1 butin. CH3, CH2, CH, double bond CH2. Okay, so the functional group here is carbon-carbon double bond. Kena tulis penuh carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, pelajar tidak boleh tulis setakat double bond saja. Kena mention carbon-carbon double bond. Soalan seterusnya. Give one chemical test to differentiate compound F. Okay, again compound F is primary alcohol. From 2 methyl 2 butanol. 2 methyl 2 butanol, jika pelajar lukis strukturnya, dia adalah tertiary alcohol. Okay, so you have to state the observation and write the chemical equation. First, okay, you must give the name of the chemical test. So, the most suitable test to differentiate primary alcohol dengan tertiary alcohol is a Lucas test. And then, you must state the reagent use. The reagent use for Lucas test is concentrated HCl in zinc chloride. And then, observation. What is the observation? Okay, for F, which is F is a primary alcohol, the solution doesn't turn cloudy within 10 minutes. Okay, jadi... Perkataan yang telah dibolkan ini okay, adalah keyword dia untuk ditulis. Penting untuk ditulis. The solution doesn't turn cloudy within 10 minutes. While for 2-methyl-2-butanol which is tertiary alcohol, the solution turns cloudy immediately. Yang membezakannya di sini ialah untuk tertiary alcohol, the solution turns cloudy immediately. 
Okay, while for primary alcohol, the solution doesn't turn cloudy within 10 minutes. And then you have to write the chemical equation. Okay, tulis chemical equation pada yang mempunyai positif uh, observation sahaja. Okay, untuk tertiary alcohol lah for this case. Jadi, when the alcohol react with the Lucas reagent, okay, the product is haloalkene. So, pelajar cuma tukarkan saja OH2 dengan Cl and water. So, this combination sebenarnya yang akan dapat insoluble solution. Sebab haloalkene okay, doesn't dissolve in water. Okay, soalan yang terakhir okay, untuk uh, question A, yes, question 3 suggest the reagents to convert F to butanal. Okay, so again what is F? F is a primary alcohol. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2OH. Okay, so when primary alcohol... Okay, we want to convert to become uh, butanal. The reaction is oxidation reaction. Tapi kena gunakan mild oxidation agent. So, kita boleh gunakan pyridinium chlorochromate in CH2Cl. Okay, or you can write as PCC, comma CH2Cl2. Okay, ini adalah my oxidation agent. Bila kita gunakan my oxidation agent, primary alcohol will oxidize to form aldehyde, which is in this case, one butanol oxidize to form butanol. Question B, state and show the mechanism for the reaction of one bromobutane with the hydroxide ion. Okay, the mechanism of haloalkane with the nucleophile has two types. Itu sama ada SN1 mechanism or SN2 mechanism. Pelajar kena decide. Sama ada reaction ini adalah SN1 or SN2. Okay, untuk untuk uh, memastikan jenis or type of reaction, pelajar lihat dulu class of haloalkane. One bromobutane is primary haloalkane. Selepas itu, kita lihat jenis nukleofil yang diberikan. Hydroxide ion is strong nucleophile. So when primary haloalkane react with strong nucleophile, it will undergo SN2 mechanism. So pelajar nyatakan the type of reaction is SN2 mechanism. Kemudian tunjukkan okay, bagaimana SN2 mechanism berlaku untuk one bromobutane with hydroxide ion. Okay, first, you have to draw the structure in 3D. Okay, this is 3D structure of one bromo butane. Okay, kemudian, one bromo butane react with hydroxide ion. Okay, tuliskan lone pair pada oxygen atom in hydroxide ion. Next, okay, gunakan arrow to show the mechanism di mana in this mechanism, lone pair from hydroxide ion will attack the carbon and make sure that okay, it attack that carbon from the back side. Maksud back side tu mesti opposite side daripada position of the halogen. So, bila kita lukis halogen di sebelah sini, okay, nucleophile will attack the carbon okay, from this side. Must be opposite side. And then at the same time, the bond between bromine and carbon will break. Okay, show by using the arrow. And then, 
write the arrow and write the slow here. This is the rate determining step. So you must write the word slow here. Okay. And then uh, it becomes the transition state. So this is the transition state. This is how to draw the transition state. Eh? Okay, bentuk dia macam mana. Tadi BR di sebelah kanan, jadi make sure OH tu dilukis di sebelah kiri. Okay, kemudian, this reaction uh, proceed, okay, in the very fast rate to produce the end product. Okay, this is the end product. Okay, tiada lagi bromine tadi. Kalau kamu kita bandingkan end product, tiada lagi bromine, digantikan dengan OH. Okay, dan... Perhatikan configuration of the structure antara uh, one bromobutane okay, dengan one butanol. The structure is the the structure of product is one butanol. Okay, nampak tak yang tiga ni? Okay, dia kembang di sebelah kiri macam ni. Tapi bila produk dia akan jadi opposite side lah di sebelah kanan. Sebab OH sekarang berada di sebelah kiri. And then don't forget to uh, write the side product bromide ion. Okay, so this is the SN2 mechanism. Now we go to question 4. Okay, for the question 4, student also uh, given a diagram okay, as uh, shown here. Eh? Okay, consider the following reaction scheme and the question is draw the structure of M and N. What is M here? This is M. What is the structure of M and structure of N and give the reagent of Q and R. B. Suggest the product form when L, when L react with thionyl dichloride, lithium aluminium hydride followed by hydrolysis, sodium metal, and ammonia heated. C. Arrange K, L and M in order of increasing boiling point and you have to explain your answer. And then D. State the observation and write the chemical equation when M react with tolerance reagent. Suggest one chemical test that can be conducted to confirm the presence of functional group in M. Question A. Draw the structures of M and N and give the reagents Q and R. Okay, M. M, when this structure, okay, when structure of K, structure of K is uh, 3 hexene, react with ozone, okay, followed with zinc and hydrolysis. Okay, this is what we call ozonolysis process. Okay, this is ozonolysis process. Okay, dalam ozonolysis process, okay, berlaku carbon-carbon double bond break. Okay. Berlaku bond cleavage di situ. Okay, untuk menghasilkan M. So, the structure of M here is CH3, CH2, C double bond OH. Okay. Sebabkan uh, sebelah kiri dan sebelah kanan tu adalah sama. Okay, dia, ini adalah simetri alkins. Jadi, kita akan dapat satu struktur saja untuk M. Okay. Seterusnya, struktur untuk N. Okay, bila aldehyde. Okay, the structure of M tadi tu adalah aldehyde. Okay, when aldehyde react with NH2, NH2. Kita akan dapat struktur begini untuk N. CH3, CH2, C 
CH, okay, perhatikan kat sini, CH, double bond tadi, gantikan dengan N, N, H2. Okay, the uh, direction from M to N, okay, ini adalah condensation reaction. So, kalau condensation, maksudnya, water molecule will eliminate. Jadi, H2 and O, okay, O daripada M tadi tu, Okay, akan uh, uh, membentuk water molecule. Jadi yang tinggal adalah this structure lah. Okay. Kemudian, seterusnya untuk reagents Q and R. Okay, what is Q? Okay, M tadi adalah aldehyde. Okay, which is propanal. Okay, what is the reagent used to convert propanal to become propanoic acid? To convert aldehyde to become Carboxylic acid. Okay, itu adalah oxidation reaction. Okay, so kamu boleh pilih, okay, ataupun tulis mana-mana oxidation agent. Okay, contohnya untuk Q, kamu boleh tulis potassium permanganate, okay, food acid and heated. Selain daripada potassium permanganate, boleh juga gunakan potassium dichromate. Okay, tapi sama jugalah. Maksudnya kena ada acid and heated. Kena complete eh. Okay, termasuklah uh, condition. Q2 termasuk reagent dan juga condition. So, kita nak tukar daripada aldehyde to form carboxylic acid. Okay, and then the structure for R. Okay, what is R? R is H plus and KCN. Okay. Okay, ataupun kamu boleh gunakan H plus NACN. Okay, untuk menghasilkan struktur P. Question B, suggest the product form when L, L reacts with these four reagent. Thionyl dichloride, lithium aluminum hydride followed by hydrolysis, sodium metal and ammonia heated. Okay, untuk yang pertama. Okay, bila L, okay, what is L? L is propanoic acid. Okay, when L react with thionyl dichloride, okay, produk dia adalah CH3, CH2, COCl. Kita akan dapat acyl chloride. Okay, ini adalah penghasilan acyl chloride. Di mana OH okay, akan digantikan dengan Cl. Okay, untuk yang kedua, okay, lithium aluminium hydride ni adalah reducing Reducing agent. Okay. Jadi, bila propanoic acid ataupun carboxylic acid reduce, dia akan menghasilkan primary alcohol. Kena ingat benda tu. Okay. Reduction of carboxylic acid will produce primary alcohol. So, macam mana struktur primary alcohol tersebut? Bilangan karbon masih sama. Okay, 3 carbon alcohol. Kita akan dapat propanol. Yang ketiga, when carboxylic acid react with sodium metal, okay, kita akan dapat sodium carboxylate salt. Okay, the structure is CH3, CH2, C, double bond O, O, N, A. Di mana Uh, H tadi tu, okay, hydrogen from carboxyl group akan digantikan dengan sodium metal. Okay, dan seterusnya, untuk nombor 4, bila carboxylic acid react with ammonia, okay, itu akan menghasilkan amide. CH3, CH2, C double bond O, NH2. Akan menghasilkan primary 
a mind. Question C. Arrange K, L and M in order of increasing boiling point. And you have to explain. Okay, kita lihat semula. Apakah struktur K? Tadi kita dah jawab. Okay, K is alkene. CH3, CH2, Okay, this is the structure of K. Okay, and then what is L? L is uh, propanoic acid. While what is M? M is propanol, which is aldehyde. Okay. The boiling point of a compound depends on the strength of intermolecular forces. Stronger intermolecular forces require more energy to separate the molecules in the liquid state in order for it to boil. Jadi, pelajar perlu mengenal pasti in a type of intermolecular forces between each compound. Okay, between K, between L and between M molecules. Okay, kita lihat satu-satu. The forces acting between M. Okay, M is a aldehyde. Are London dispersion forces and dipole-dipole forces. Okay, for K, K is an alkene. Okay, if K exists as trans isomer, it is non-polar molecule and has only London dispersion forces between molecules. But if K, K is an alkene, exists as cis isomer, it is a polar molecule and has both London dispersion forces and dipole-dipole forces between molecules. Okay, so K ni ada dua keadaan lah. Okay, kalau dia dalam keadaan Uh, trans isomer cuma ada London dispersion forces tapi kalau dia dalam keadaan cis isomer okey molekul tersebut adalah polar molecule so dia ada dua-dua London dispersion forces and dipole dipole forces sekarang kita compare between M and K tak nampaknya macam sama kan type of intermolecular forces between K and M okey the boiling point of K is higher okey K is higher than M kenapa sebab molar mass for K is equal to 84 while molar mass for M is equal to 58. Okay, this is because much higher molecular weight makes polarizability more significant in K and causes it to have much stronger London dispersion forces. Okay, itu sebab right K Okay, has higher boiling point than M. Disebabkan oleh faktor molecular weight eh. Okay, so what happened to L? Okay, L has highest boiling point uh, compared to K and M. Okay, sebab L is able to form hydrogen bond between molecules. The hydrogen bonds between L molecules are also very strong because the presence of two hydrogen bond between Two molecules enables them to form a dimer. So we know that hydrogen bond is stronger than Van der Waal forces that exist between M and K. So that's why L has highest boiling point compared to K and M. The last question. State the observation and write the chemical equation when M react with Tollens reagent. Okay, what is M? What is the structure of M? M is propanal. CH3, CH2, C double bond OH. So, M is an aldehyde which is propanal. Suggest one chemical test that can be conducted to confirm that presence of functional group in M. Okay, so... When M react with Tollens reagent, the observation is the formation of silver mirror. Okay, this is the chemical equation. You draw the structure of M and you write the 
tolerance reagent. Okay, this is the tolerance reagent. Okay, so the product is propanoate ion. It become propanoate ion, and the silver solid will form, as we can see, as silver mirror. Okay, and then uh, suggest one chemical test that can be conducted to confirm the presence of functional group in M. So, what is a functional group in M? Carbonyl group. So, the test to um, the test that we can use to detect the, pre the presence of carbonyl group is Brady's test. Okay. Ataupun kamu boleh tulis reaction with 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine or you can write reaction with 2,4-DNPH short form macam ni lah. Okay, sama ada kamu boleh tulis nyatakan saja Brady's test sebab dia kata suggest one chemical test. That's all for this presentation. I wish you all the best for your chemistry paper. Good luck and bye.